also learning more about a separate attack at a mall in Minnesota. The FBI is calling it a, quote, potential act of terrorism there. A knife-wielding man went on a rampage through the shopping center, injuring nine before being brought down by an off-duty police officer. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas tonight. The suspect was the FBI's worst nightmare, a lone wolf with no known ties to terror attacking the softest of targets, a shopping mall on a busy Saturday evening. There was at least one victim who was asked if they were Muslim. In five minutes of terror, Dahir Adan, a Somali-American, stabbing nine shoppers before being fatally shot by an off-duty police officer. Wounded survivor Ryan Sleep says Adan attacked anyone in his path. He started striking one in the back of the head who was a pregnant female. Within hours, ISIS claimed responsibility, calling Adan one of its soldiers. His family shocked. Are you aware that ISIS is saying that he was a soldier? And Pierre Thomas with us live from our Washington bureau tonight. Was this man on the FBI's radar, Pierre? David, tonight our sources are telling us so far the case shows no ties to ISIS. They say the suspect came out of nowhere. That's what's so disturbing, especially given the fact that the FBI is tracking 800 ISIS sympathizers here in the U.S. Pierre Thomas with us as well. Thank you.